Hey guys, Jamin here bringing you another key replacement video. We're working on an Acer Aspire V5 series computer today. We're going to show you how to take off one of the larger keys, uh, space, shift, enter, one of the larger keys, how to take it off and how to safely put it back on. If you are looking for a video on the normal size keys, um, check out the link below. There will be a uh, link in the description to go to a normal key. That's in a, a separate video. Uh, but today we're going to show you how to get under one of, one of these keys because they look a lot different than a normal key. Uh, we're doing this because in the event that you break a key or lose a key, oftentimes you can't find these for sale loose online. It's, it's worth looking on eBay and Amazon, but many times you're not going to find them. If that's the case, you'll end up buying a used keyboard and then taking a key off of that. Uh, so we're going to show you how to take one off and then how to put it back on safely. We're going to be working on the space key today, seeing as how it's one of the larger ones. So we'll show you how to take that off. We're going to be using a small flathead screwdriver, smaller the better. Uh, smaller it is, less chance you have of breaking anything. I'm going to slide this underneath my key cap, which is this top part, but I'm going to do it uh, so that hopefully it's on top of the retainer clip that's underneath. And I'll show you what th this looks like once we get it up. Keep in mind on these larger keys, this is uh, long, it's thin. Uh, depending on the age of the computer, it, it may be dry. So sometimes when I've gone to take these up, I, I snap it right in half. So be careful with that. So we're going to take it up, down, feel it out. Okay, so I pulled that up. And as you can see, uh, on this side as well as here, my flathead was holding down this white retainer clip. So that's kind of why we're using that flathead, is so we can hold, the, hold that down and not break it. If, if you had this and you just grabbed it and ripped it up, you'd most likely break these things. So this is what it looks like here, um, looks like underneath. Uh, you have two retainer clips as opposed to one on a normal key. You still have usually just the one rubber bouncy thing. Be careful at, as you're going under here not to accidentally rip that thing up. It's only held on by glue. Those are a pain uh, to get back on if you get them off. And then you've got a, a stabilizer bar here, stabilizer bar here, and then one running through th the middle. This doesn't do much except just keep the key just flush with itself and, 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 and firm. Again, because that plastic's pretty, uh, pretty flimsy. These... Uh, Stabilizer bars here are kind of easy to manage. Um, they just slide into these brackets here. Um, so, so those aren't, aren't really m much of anything. But these retainer clips are what we're going to focus on. These are a pain in the butt to get off. Usually they're going to be held on um, one of two ways, these retainer clips. You'll see two metal pins on top corners, two metal pins near the bottom corners. <clears throat> or in this case, you'll see two metal pins toward the top and then one in, in the center down below. In order to get this up, I'm going to find the pins that are closest to the corners, which would be these two in this case, and then I'm going to push this clip up as much as possible while trying to gently pry these out, uh, these plastic components out from under these metal pins. This is definitely where you'll break it if you do break it, so go slow. Uh, I will show you what it looks like after I get it out and why we're going so slow on this. So hang on one sec, there's one, okay, so that came up relatively easily. So just so you see what it looks like, let me zoom in on that for you. Now if you notice this clip right here in the corner and right here in the corner you see these little tiny tiny plastic pins coming out. Now those are super small, super breakable and that's all that's holding this down. Uh, these two pins are what sits underneath the, the metal clips. So that's why you go very slow and you push on the bottom and you gently try to pry these things up because if that breaks, um, your key is not going to be secure when you go to put it back down. Now to reinstall this, we're just going to go backwards. Uh, we took the top part off first. Now we're going to put the bottom on first. Just going to set that down. Set that down back in there. And we're going to make it so that we're going to put this bottom part in first. That little metal clip it in the center, we're going to get that under there first, line it up correctly. This may take some time because uh, I, I do this a lot. Um, if you haven't done this before, that may take some time to line up well. Um, but it's lined up well uh, visually. I've gotten that part in. Now you just press on the top and those should just snap back in. 
Now this is kind of a tricky part. These stabilizer bars, as you see, they, they kind of loosen here. They kind of move around. Uh, they don't snap into place necessarily. So what I try to do is just try to get it, try to get it as centered as possible. So just try to get it centered. And then I'm going to take my key cap, center it on top, and then just push. And if you push it on, if everything was lined up correctly, that just snaps back in and it's fully functional. Again, that part may take you some time uh, getting it lined up, pressing it, having it snap in in some parts, not snapping in in others. That, that, then you got to go back in and take it off and line it up again. So that, that can be a frustrating part. Um, but you can definitely get it. It's, it's not impossible. And it saves you from having to do a very messy repair taking off a French inset keyboard rather than just replacing a key. So again, if you were looking for the other key, the link's in the description. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. We try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. And uh, please like and share if this was helpful. Thank you so much.